What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another chill Marvel Snap discussion video. Um, I've been reading a lot about hitting infinite this season. I have yet not hit infinite. And uh, I wanted to kind of give uh, the community some insights as to why you are not hitting infinite. And by you, I mean the vast majority, vast majority of the Marvel Step community is not hitting infinite. And I wanted to give you some reasons why and the truth as to why you're not hitting infinite. Um, and I wanted to start this video off by showing a question that was asked to the developers of Marvel Snap over at Second Dinner. And the question that they asked here was, what's the percentage of players that reached rank 100 each season and are you satisfied with that number? Uh, the answer was, the amount of players reaching infinite is lower than we want right now. We are always iterating and rank and ranked mode is an area we will continue to improve over time. So even just the simple fact that they admit that the numbers of players reaching infinite is lower than they want right now communicates to me that they, it's it's really low. It's it's incredibly low, right? Because a developer never wants to really admit too many faults, and when they do, it's very very low key faults. Like eh, it's just the amount of players is lower than we want. <laughs> That's like the most vague answer ever. Um, that could be 10 lower or a million lower. Like there's no way of knowing, but that they are willing to admit that it's lower communicates to me that it's really, really low. And I kind of wanted to encourage you and let you know that you know, you're know you not the only one who can't hit infinite. It's almost by design that you're not hitting infinite. Infinite is not really for you. And that's the truth. Infinite is not for you. It's for the whales. It's for the people that have all the cards. And to prove that point, I kind of wanted to show you a couple uh, videos and some YouTubers. Like, uh, so the first one I wanted to show you here was Empire uh, Emperor. He said that he finally hit he finally hit uh, Infinite in Marvel Snap, and this is the deck that he used, which was a Galactus deck. So he primarily used a Galactus deck. So you're not going to be able to win with you're not going you're not going to have this deck. Probably less than 10%. It's probably like eight to five or even lower percent of the community has this deck which you do you don't have right he also says in the video that it took him 1360 games I don't know if you can see uh, I wrote a comment on here that he said 1360 games I said with an average play time of about four minutes which is on the conservative side because if any of you are like me I like to analyze my game after it's over I take more time than the game took I think about the game after I've played it um, so even if it's four minutes and you're and you're just popping in without any rest in between games, you're just banging it out. 1,360 games would take about 90 hours of gameplay, right? So that's incredible. He's not only using a Series Five deck, but it also still took him 1,360, 1,360 games to hit infinite, right? And he's an experienced player. He's been playing lots and lots and lots of games. Right? So what does that communicate to me? That communicates to me that infinite is really not something that the average community member or really almost any community member is going to be hitting. Right? It's not meant for you to hit. Okay? Just show another one here. We have Mobile Gamer. He said he hit infinite this season and what did he use? He used a Dark Hawk deck. Right? So he used Zabu Dark Hawk. And Absorbing Man at the time, Absorbing Man was Series 4 and Dark Hawk was Series 5 when he made this video. So this is also a deck that's out of reach for all the community, right? The decks that these streamers are using are Series 5 high expensive cost decks, right? And they can afford to buy these cards because they have a YouTube channel that's supporting their game, right? And they also, this is like a lot for, for a lot of them, this is what they do. And so they have immense amount of time. Right, like I said, it took uh, Galactus Emperor probably a hundred to a uh, hundred plus hours for him to get to infinite. Right? I mean, if you divide that over the month, that's dozens and dozens of games a day. I'd be surprised if you're even playing one dozen games a game. You, you play twelve games in a day, maybe. But I mean, I'd be surprised if you're playing even one dozen a day, every day of the month. Right? And even if you played a dozen games every day of the month, think about that. That's like. 360 games for wait for 400 no 360 games yeah that's not even 400 games you're, you're not playing anywhere near the amount of games you need to play 
to hit infinite, right? And that's okay because it's not meant for you to hit it. That's what I'm trying to communicate to you. That's fine. You're not going to hit infinite if all you're playing is a few hundred games a month. Even if you're playing less than a thousand games a month, you're not going to hit infinite most likely, right? Yeah, there are some people out there that do, but I, I see people out there who play free to play decks. It takes them the entire month to hit infinite and they're playing every single day and a lot of, a lot of them most of the day. Right? It takes huge amounts of volume games to hit infinite. Huge, huge amounts. Right? So, uh, Emperor was kind enough to share his games played, and that just that communicates a lot. It took about 1,400 games played to get to infinite. Uh, Snapster, really great YouTuber, he shared the deck that got him infinite. This is the deck that gave him infinite. It's a Sauron. It's a Sauron Shuri deck. Right? So, not only is he. Uh, not only is he, uh, sorry, I turned this volume down. Not only is he a great player, but he has he's playing a, a series five deck as well, right? And whenever you see, um, you know, these decks, like I searched here, pull three infinite decks, right? And you see decks like this, free to play decks that got me to infinite, right? Um, this pull three deck is insanely consistent, easy infinite. Right, easy, easy, infinite, not true. It's just not true. There's no such thing as easy, infinite in this game. And that's proof here by the developers. If it was easy, they wouldn't be having this problem where it's lower than they want right now. So the truth is it's not easy to infinite and it's especially not easy if you don't have a top deck. None of these pull three decks are getting you to infinite, none of them, that's the truth they're not gonna get you to infinite. They might be good decks to play and you can enjoy them and have fun, but don't be thinking infinite because that's just going to frustrate you. You're gonna be thinking, what's wrong with me? This deck is supposed to be easy infinite. I'm telling you though, I'm telling you the truth, it's not. You're not the only one. These decks will not get you to infinite. Now, they might get you to infinite if you spent thousands of games playing them, thousands of games playing them. They might. But there's nothing wrong with you if you tried this deck and you're just not climbing. You're like, I'm not understanding. The reason why you're not climbing is because you're not putting in volume games. Marvel Snap is like poker. You see, you see small gains over massive quantities of playtime. Right? That's what poker is. You're playing thousands and thousands of hands of poker, and you're folding a lot. You're folding. You're folding. You're folding until you finally get that hand that you can go all in with and make up all your losses and some. And now you have a gain right this game is is rewarding more folding which is in a sense escaping right and raising which is snapping that's what this game largely is i wanted to make a separate video on that because i think that's a problem with this game it's not poker and i wanted to explain why marvel snap is not poker and i'm gonna make a separate video on that but just so you know you need to take thousands and thousands of games in order to even grow a little bit in marvel snap there's also matchmaking problems, which I can make in a video on matchmaking. But what I wanted to focus on here is it's not the deck, it's not you, it's that the game inherently requires thousands of games and the game inherently requires the best decks. Right, in poker, everyone's playing with the same deck of cards. Right, in Marvel Snap, you're not playing with the same deck of cards. Some people have a, a, a loaded deck, right, and you don't. You're playing with normal cards and then some people are playing with a loaded deck and you're not. That's just one of the reasons why this is not poker and it shouldn't be compared to poker. And I think the developers are putting too much emphasis on snapping and not enough emphasis on wins, right? And so just to show you here, this is my Marvel Snap profile. And I kind of wanted to show you guys this just to give you an idea here. Um, I'm collection level 1510. I've played 1163 games in my entire Marvel Snap career and 960 of those are this season because I really only started playing this season I played a little bit of last season so you could see about 200 games last season that's all I played last season this season I really really tried hard and I dumped in tons and tons of games to see if I can hit infinite the highest rank I was able to achieve was 93 this season and you can see that my games won versus my games lost I have almost a 60% win rate I have a 58.13% win rate and a 41% lose rate, right? So I'm winning almost 60% of my games and I cannot hit infinite, 
right? Because snapping is a challenge in the upper rank. Snapping is so important and it's really what's rewarded in this game, not winning and losing. And I think there's a problem with that when not everyone's playing with the same decks, right? So I'll, I'll go into more on that on a different video, my thoughts on that. But I wanted you to see that uh, the reason why you're not hitting infinite is not because you're not playing well. I'm sure many of you have over a 50% win rate. It's not because you're not playing well, it's because you're not putting, look at, I've played 960 games and I still haven't hit infinite. I've almost played a thousand games this season, right? And I kind of gave up. That's why I hit 93 and I kind of just, you know, said I, I can't do it anymore. Um, it was taking up too much time. I wanted to do other things, spend time with my family and my daughter. I wanted to do other things. And so I said, you know what, I just, I don't have the patience for this anymore. And I kind of gave up and I've just been um, grinding out my, my daily quests. So I play bad decks, you know, like if I need to play like seven, six cost cards, well then I'm not gonna be playing Sarah Surfer, right? Cause Sarah Surfer doesn't have any six cost cards in it, right? So uh, I, be, I, I, I just lose ranks, but that's fine because um, I, you, you have to understand what this game is for and what the game is about. So when you're at this point, you're really just a collector. You should be focusing on just collecting the cards because you don't, I don't, I don't, and I'm sure you don't have all the cards you need to be a real contender to play on an even playing field, to even learn how to start snapping to begin with, right? Snapping is very difficult. And on top of that, if you're snapping with this lesser deck than your opponent, I'm telling you, that's a major, major problem, right? So here's a little, little takeaways, a little bit of recap, right? Why you're not hitting infinite. Um, it takes too many games. It takes thousands and thousands of games. So that's not, that's not on you. You just don't have the time for that, right? Not, most of us don't. These people who are eating infinite, all these streamers, they're streaming on it all day, right? Educated Collins hit rank 400, but he streams many, many hours every single day, right? So uh, they have the games in. They have the games played to hit infinite. Uh, you don't have the best cards. That's a major, major problem why you're not hitting infinite. You don't have the best cards. Right, you need the best cards so you can snap on an even playing field. Um, when you snap, your snap may not be as strong as the opponent's snap. Right, your snap is still. He may have a bet worse hand than you, but it's still better to be, it's still better than yours because he has the better. He has cards that could beat yours just flat out. Right, so you don't have the best cards. The ladder system and snapping devalues winning. It does. The the winning is not what's valued in marble snap. Uh, snapping or raising. Knowing when to raise and fold is uh, what's valued in Marvel Snap. Um, and I think that's fine to have value on that mechanic, but when you have a game that's about playing one deck versus another and about the game play, right? Linking your cards together, playing your cards, seeing their effects, seeing the combos you make, I think you need to put more emphasis on the game itself being played, not running away from it, right? With that retreat. Which I think that's a fine system, but you, you gotta have some some way to tip it a little bit more, I think, in the winning direction. So some of the ways I think that this can be fixed, um, a couple ideas I have, is you could put ranked floors in. So every 10 rank, there's a floor. And I put a note here, I know the devs don't like this because they want every game to have both players feel like something's on the line. And if you're playing and I hit a floor and you didn't, and I can just take it easy or chill, then that ruins the you know token economy or the cube economy, right? Because people are just um, throwing away cubes or nothing's on the line. Um, but then my question is then why have a floor at infinite? Like if that's a concern, why have a floor at infinite? Those players are doing that every day. They tank, they tank their MMR. They just tank it because they hit infinite, there's nowhere else to go. So they just start playing meme decks and they tank their MMR right and throw away cubes all day long i don't understand why there is even a floor for infinite you know once you hit infinite you earn the title you you earn the item there why have a floor there i don't really understand why there's a floor on infinite at all if you have no other floor on any other uh rank then why is there a floor on infinite why not just let them fall down into the 90s is it purely for bragging rights so this is really only benefiting streamers not the community there's a floor for streamers and streamers alone so they can make better video content so they can constantly say that they're at, look, I have a hundred in front of my name, right? I'm not understanding um, why there's a floor at infinite. So I would put rank floors at every 10 levels. Um, I think that if you're trying to climb and there's no floors, you're sweating every time. 
it'd be nice to have a break. Right at rank 10, you can just chill for a couple days. Maybe try other decks out. See if something else works better for you. But you're too afraid and you're too worried to do that because you can fall back down. You just hit rank 70 and you can fall back down to 69, 68, 67 if you play a bad deck. And all that work it took you to get to rank 70 is gone. I mean, it's devastating. But if you have a ranked floor, uh, you could take a breath and say, okay, I made it. Maybe pause for a day. Maybe come back after a few hours. Try again. You know, maybe try another deck and not worry about it affecting you. You can actually learn a new deck without it affecting your rank that you work so hard to get. Right? So I just think rank floors have way more benefits than, than negatives, in my opinion. I think rank floors are a great tool to help to climb. Uh, win streak bonus. I think if they added a win streak bonus, like if you won three, four, five, I don't know, however many games in a row, you get a bonus, you get bonus cubes. That way there's a little bit little bit more emphasis on winning, right? To actually win the game, right? Not just escaping when you don't have the cards that you need or want, right? Um, winning the game, there should be a little bit more value placed on winning, and there really isn't much value on winning at all. Um, you know, so sticking around in a game would be cool. I don't know. I also think uh, once you hit infinite, you should join a new pool of players that are only an in infinite. Right? And that way, towards the end of the season, the best players start to get filtered out of the rank system. And you're not playing against people who have such higher decks than you. Right? Then you can actually snap on a more on an even playing field. Right? So as time moves forward and as the great players get pushed into infinite, right the pool starts to mellow out and now you have an opportunity so it's fine if you want to have like a well let them in infinite in the beginning they have they got there they can crush on you for a week but then then maybe the second half of the season the community can climb right but they don't do that once you're infinite you're still playing against people down in rank 60 infinite players 60 50 70s 80s all the way up you're playing against infinite players all the time I think that's ridiculous. Um, I think once you're in infinite, you should be in a whole new pool of players, and like that's the barrier. That's why there's a floor. That that gives a reason for there being a floor, right? Once you break into that room, you can't you, you don't go out of it. You're in a whole new world. You're in a whole new section of play, right? And I think like that would be a reason why there's a floor, so it keeps you in there, so you're not saturating this pool down here and ruining snap matchups. Okay, so these are some of the thoughts that I think uh, would fix the problem. And these are the reasons why I think you're not hitting infinite. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's a little bit long, a little bit of a podcast. Maybe you pop this in while you're driving to work or something. But uh, that's the video I got for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy the new upcoming season. And I'll catch you. I'll catch you all later. Peace.